In this session of a B1H development tutorial, we're going to learn how to use SAP Web ID to create SAP Fiori app for SAP Business One. At the end of this session, you will be able to use SAP Web ID to build Fiori app for Business One, especially using the HANA Excel data as the uh, uh, as the backend uh, data service uh, for the read only scenario, for example, you can create a BAP a BP Explorer to uh, exploring all of uh, your business partners. And secondly, you can create a theory app using the service layer to assess the business logic for the read and write transaction, read and write scenario, for example, a theory app to create sales order, to check in sales order, to cancel sales order. Unit 3. Develop SAP Fiori app for B1H with HANA X as all data for read-only scenario. This unit will be composed with four parts. Part 1. We are going to prepare it, uh, before we create a Fiori app, such as we prepare for the uh, backend all data service. Part two, we're going to create a theory app from template with SAP Web ID. Part number three, we will customize the theory app with the SAP Web ID. Part four, deploy and run the SAP theory app for the B1H. Here was the Architecture overview of a B1H. In the server side, we have in the HANA database, and as well as we have the HANA Exchange, which would be the as the um, application um, service. And then for the runtime, uh, for the client Fiori application uh, to retrieve to assess the business logic. To assessing the business one data, there was two approaches. The first one is the HANA native access all data, and the HANA access all data um, it's compliant with the all data version two point zero, and in this case, um, you should only you only using the access all data to uh, read the business one data only. You shouldn't. Um, using the SSO data to create, to update, to delete the business one system um, table, um, you, which, which may uh, causing the inconsistent or data in de uh, integrity issue of the database. If you would like to uh, assess the whole business logic, such as, uh, especially for the read and write scenario, such as create a sales order, or cancel the sales order, update the sales order, and you should use a service layer. And then the service layer is complying with all data version 3.0. And for the design time, uh, we're going to be using the SAP Web ID on SAP Cloud Platform uh, to design the theory. Uh, and then once we finish design, we're going to export, import, and deploy our theory app into our one promise SAP HANA, which for connecting the live data. Part number one, preparation. A Fiori app for the BP Explorer. You know, we're going to be showing um, like this. It's a master detail uh, Fiori app. In the, in the master list, you're going to see a list of uh, this partner and with the uh, customer code, customer name, and the balance as well, and which is very uh, highlight information and we you uh, select one of the uh, business partner and then you're going to see the details for the business partner such as the um, uh, BP GS and BP contact person and for this scenario specifically of uh, the data uh, the backend data we are going to be using the um, X and HANA Excel data service and we're going to create a uh, Excel data into our project and we're going to exposing the uh, 
this partner of CRD and then CRD1 uh, for inside this all data. And first of all, we would like to create, uh, we're going to using the um, the editor of web-based development workbench and to create an MDX project. And to create a project, you just need to right-click the content um, and then click create project. And then you can select the template as empty application with XSS and then giving the package name uh, which the application name eventually you're going to deploy it into this and as a result it will create three files um, xss and then xss app it stands for as an exchanging application and index the xml and then before we moving forward to design it, uh, the theory app with the sap web ID, we will need to uh, prepare the xl data for the business partner uh, in the backend and do and then to, to download the metadata um, of the access of data which uh, will be used uh, afterwards uh, in the uh, uh, in the when we design the theory now before we jump into the define design the theory app with the SP web ID uh, we would like to create a exchanging application with our um, web based different open editor uh, and then uh, which would be your you know one promise HANA and eventually um, this app would be deployed uh, the theory app uh, BP Explorer will be deployed uh, in the HANA exchanging in your one promise HANA and then to connect the live data from your business one so to create an X application just right click content and click create application and then for the template we would like to use the empty application with the XSS and S app and giving the application name as BP Explorer app and then by default you should create uh, three files since one file is missing so the XSS um, it will be identified uh, uh, how to authenticate the app so we're going to using the form uh, the login form create um, you need to enter the username and password of SAP HANA to accessing this app and as well as the other setting and then you also have the uh, create a dummy XML file uh, which we're not going to use so to showing you um, um, one file we need to if uh, one file is missing is the uh, .s app which is uh, identified uh, this package as a as a HANA X engine application. So we need to create this by menu since it's not create for uh, for us. So dot ss app. And we're going to rename it afterwards. Rename it as. All right. So what we're going to do, um, this file, um, it will be um, identified this package as a HANA X engine application. So what we're going to do, when we see the icon, um, uh, the black icon here, it means it's not activate. So we have, we have to right click and click activate and to activate the application. Now um, our X engine application has been activated and we can give a give a go by open the index the XML and then we can run it so we'll be able to see the this my web page which for the dummy page uh, for uh, for our application okay next we would like to create um, the all data backend all data service for uh, for the theory at BP Explorer so we would like to create the first word we would like to create a sub package name all data you can name it as uh, service as all data as you like and then inside this all data package I would like to create a, a BP this partner dot SS all data which would be used to expose my 
this partner is HANA exchanging all data. Okay, the syntax. Of the XSO data will be like this. You will notice uh, you will start to specify the company database and the table. So the co company database uh, here, uh, uh, you will need to um, you will need to rename it when you export the package uh, and import it to the live system. You will need to once you deploy the live customer system, you need to re replace with the customers uh, uh, productive. B1 database. And we're exposing the OCRD as the uh, business partner. And then we only uh, project a certain field, the field Kako Kanem, which is required, which is used uh, in our Fiori app, uh, Kako Kanem, um, not all the fields. And we also having uh, the navigation uh, for for the sub object like BP addresses and contact persons. And we will use, uh, and we also are forbidden to create, to update, to delete to this uh, OCID table uh, straight away. And um, we only allowed the Fiori app to query the data, to read only. Okay, now what we need to do, just need to um, save and then activate uh, the BP uh, Excel data. Now it has been saved and activated successfully. Now we can have look uh, what it what is the data look like. Simply just click the long button for this, and then you will be able to see the uh, the all data we have defined. If you would like to see uh, what the all data will return the data for us, uh, we you can have a you can have a choice using the slash, and that the next object uh, we only using is the business partner. So you can have look at the this partner, so you return you return a list of this partner uh, uh, using the XML, and of course you can um, you can using the format as JSON, and this is the you will return as a JSON data. Okay, all right. What we um, eventually our all data is going to using the call the service or something that uh, in this way to get the uh, Kako Kanem and then the contact person as well. In order to do that, um, we will need the metadata for this uh, this partner access all data. So to get the uh, metadata, we will need to uh, using the um, dollar metadata. Okay. Now this metadata we need uh, we need to download to the to our local file system and then using uh, afterwards when we design the Fiori app. So just right click and save as you can name it as BP metadata. And here we have the BP metadata XML, mode, uh, which later will be used later uh, in the Fiori um, application. This concludes part one. Preparation. We have created an X project for the BP Explorer and also create an XS data for business partner.